Hello everyone. So today we will going to see hack number three that is how to know the basic information of phone number using Python. Now basic information means the name of the country and service provider of that particular phone number. We will going to implement the following hack using Python. If we want to implement the hack from the scratch, it will be a very difficult task and so we will going to use phone number library. With the help of phone number library, it is very easy for us to implement the above task. Now phone number is one of the module that provides numerous features like providing basic information of a phone number, validation of phone number and many other features. Now in order to use phone number, first you need to install phone number library using the following command in your command prompt that is pip install phone number. So our task is first of all we will going to install this module. So we will going to open command prompt and there we will write pip install phone numbers. Now since it is already installed in our system so we will go further. Let's start analyzing the code. With the help of this piece of code, we can easily figure out the country name, the service provider of a particular phone number as well as whether that number is valid or not. Now our first task is import all those modules related to a given hack. So first of all, we will import phone number. Now we have already downloaded it earlier, so simply we will going to import it and then after that from phone number, we will going to import two important things that is geocoders and carrier. So now we will going to import geocoder and carrier. We will discuss the importance of geocoder and carrier afterward. So our first task is completed that is import all the important module that is required for this given hack. Now second task is create the variable of that particular number. So this is the number and we need to find the basic information of this number. So our second task is create a variable of that particular number so that we can easily use it as a parameter for different method with the help of parse. So here we will going to create a variable called phone underscore number one and this variable will going to give the information of a phone number and store the value of a phone number and with the help of parse we will going to create a phone number variable. So our first task was to import the important module and our second task was to create a variable for that particular phone number. Now our third task is calling the important method. Now inside geocoder there is something called description phone number where we will going to pass the phone number underscore number one variable as well as the language of that variable that we required. Now the given line of code will going to return the name of the country which belongs to that phone number. Similarly inside carrier there is a method called name underscore for underscore number which will return the name of the service provider. For example if you have given a particular number then it will going to specify whether your number is from Jio or it is from Airtel or it is from BSNL. Again, we will going to specify one more method that is each valid number. Here, with the help of this method, we can easily distinguish between whether a number is valid or it is an invalid number. So now let's see the output of the given number. Now this is just a random number that I took from the internet and then we will going to uh, find the result based on this number. So I will going to execute the code python the name of the file is phone.py now you can see the number is india and the service provider provider is airsel and yeah this is the true number now suppose if i change some other number here i suppose i want to change some other number like And again, I will going to execute the code. Now, this number belongs to a BSNL mobile. 
So first, our this number belongs to Airtel and this number belongs to BSN Mobile. These both are the number from India, and these both are the true number. That means they are the valid numbers. Suppose if I uh, just put zero 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 some invalid, then it will also going to give the result of this one also. Now again, I will going to execute our code, and here I can say. Now this is a false means this number is not valid. 